Hey guys, welcome to another video, another story time video. And this week has just been full of bad, bad luck. <laughs> so many th bad things have happened this week and today it's further escalated. So I'm home from Mexico. I have not even started editing my vlogger. So you guys, uh, it's not up yet by the time you guys are seeing this. Uh, Cause I'm probably gonna do this, edit this vid quick video first and it's gonna be very quick. Um, but I broke my Apple Watch today. So this week, what I've been, what I mean by this week has been going bad with bad luck. Well, I got sick on Tuesday, on the last day that um, that I, I was in Mexico, and that was the day I was coming home, and I got really sick, um, and I was like completely nauseous and dizzy throughout the airport. Um, that's why I didn't film much on the last day. I just kind of wasn't feeling it. And then uh, more of my family started getting sick and they just kind of went on from there. And then I bought an anchor battery pack like the week I left. Like it was like as soon as I got, after, like, right after my graduation, I ordered an anchor power bank because mine officially broke. So I was like, you know, let's go for an anchor one because my friend has one. And um, it's a good power bank because this lasts like what, three days. And I actually ended up getting scammed. That was a fake one, not a genuine one. It was a cheap Chinese knockoff. And now my Apple Watch breaking. So yeah, this week has just been full of bad luck, but this story in particular is going to be about the Apple Watch because this is probably the one that hurts the most. Um, so how did I break it exactly? Well, I was actually just sitting here on my desk like same position and I accidentally bumped my my uh, arm against the desk and um, so let me actually so the watch looks like this right now um, it's the other way around but basically the glass kind of separated or as you can see how this is gonna look like right now but basically what happened was the thing cracked and I don't know if you can really tell but you can see the cracks around here that's what kind of happened and I, I was like Shit. like already a bad day because I broke my watch and I did notice it was peeling off a little but I didn't think too much of it I was like uh, I mean I'm about to upgrade Apple watch anyway considering that um this the, this one just got unsupported with the next watch OS coming this fall so I was gonna go for an Apple watch SE anyway and then I went to take a nap a little while ago don't mind the mess <laughs> I went to take a nap a little while ago I nap for what was it, about an hour and a half and I wake up and then I noticed that the watch, um, when I woke up and I, I, I woke up and I saw the watch like this and I was like, oh, f***. Because I knew that like something, that the thing came off loose when I was sleeping. And I went to my bed and found it and this is the condition it's in. Yeah. The screen is, yeah, this thing is completely f***. Uh, it does not work anymore. Uh, and this is how it looks like now and I cannot be having this. I'm like. Oh great, how am I going to live like this? So, I was asking myself a lot of questions, a lot of things were running through my mind. I was like, oh man, I don't know what should I do. And then I said I, I had some money, they were from, for like, a, for, was it a, uh, call it for my little college, grad or not, high school graduation little party I got, like, uh, I got some money and I was like, you know what, use some of that money and buy a new Apple Watch. But I actually bought um, a cheap watch, Apple Watch, that is still being supported. And the only one that is, is the Apple Watch SE. So I recently, I'm going to show you guys just now that um, I did purchase it. This is out of stock because I just purchased it. You purchased this item on June 17. Apple Watch SE, as you can see, that's how it looks. And I think mine's actually a cellular model, which is pretty cool. And as you can see there, Apple Watch SE, all that. And that's what I got. I also bought a tempered glass screen protector because I did not have a protector. There was uh, one time where I had, a, or I did, that, I went with like plastic screen protectors for like about a year and a half. But all of them finally broke or wore off. So I was like, okay, whatever. But I don't know, I was like telling myself, we should got to buy it once eventually. I just never did for some reason. And then after the, I, I found out that the watch was not going to be supported. I was like, you know what, if I'm going to upgrade, and I might as well just like, why bother, you know? But that was a big idea, a big mistake, and I should have ordered them, because now this happened. And something I was telling myself is, because I saw the screen peeling, and I was like, hmm, maybe I should buy tape. 
or put tape over it. And uh, I did not do that, and I should have done that because now this happened. So I am a little pissed off, but not too pissed off considering that I am about to upgrade my watch anyway. So I did, I did purchase this watch, Apple Watch SE, along with tempered glass screen protectors. It's like, I think, three pack, uh, something like that, yeah. And then I ordered this one as well for the 42 millimeters is because I was looking here that this Apple Watch right here, this is my mom's watch, and this one has no, per oh, pff, my wireless charger kind of broke a little bit when I was on the plane, when I put it in my backpack, and yeah, I, things have just been breaking, and it's just been bad, uh, but that's my mom's watch, and that one has no protector, I was like, you know what, I don't want the same thing happening to her watch, so I'm going to buy some, and those were really cheap, like three packs for three dollars, so I was like, alright, just buy that, um, so, and so I can put protectors on her watch, so that way nothing happens to hers, and uh, the only one else with an Apple Watch here is my dad. He has a Series 338 millimeters. He has a protect, or he doesn't have a protector on his, but he does have protectors laying around for his model. So that's a good at least. But it's just me and my mom who need him. And yeah, that's kind of basically what happened. So now I've gotten to see the inside of an Apple Watch Series 3. I'm probably about to throw this away. Hey, you're wondering, oh, keep it as a collectible, you know, that kind of thing. Nah, because uh, I have another, this one right here is a Series 3 as well. So it's the same color and everything. So I can literally, like, it's the same exact thing. So I can always just have my mom's watch to remember my Series 3. And this watch lasted me really, really long. It lasted me two and a half years. I got this in September 2019. Um, I took good care of it at least while I could, um, at least when I lost the protectors. That's why, this is why you have to have a screen protector on your Apple Watch, guys, because something like this could happen. But I'm amazed at how long it lasted me, three and a half years. That's, that's actually pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, that, that's just a vibe for the story time, just to show you guys what happened on my watch, how it happened, and that uh, you guys should be careful, and buy a screen protector for your Apple Watch, and, I mean... It doesn't really matter. I mean, I use plastic protectors for like a year and a half on my watch. And I kept bumping into them and my watch never broke. So, or maybe because I was using really high quality plastic. Uh, plastic. <laughs> my God, I'm losing my voice right now. Maybe because I was using really high quality plastic protectors. I don't know. Um, but my watch lasted me well with those. But it's. I just recommend tempered glass because that's, that's just the way to go, you know. It's, it'll last you better. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Um, and while I'm at it, I'm going to add a little uh, side story time of how I got scammed on eBay for this portable battery. So this is supposed to be an Anchor power battery. You can see the Anchor branding right there. And it, you would think it looks genuine. Everything looks fine, but there were some red flags that I noticed. So this model, so I bought this thing for, I think, cost me $50. And... Um, I ordered it in black. I immediately knew right away I got the wrong color. I was like, okay, that's weird. I didn't think much of it. Then I saw this. This is, was supposed to be its protector. The one my friend has looks completely different. It's way smaller. It's kind of black, and it has little holes, and it has an anchor logo on it. Uh, here, I'm about to show you guys. So that's, that's supposed to be black because uh, I ordered mine in black, and that's what the listing said, but mine came in white for for some reason, and... I don't, I don't know why. And then let me show you what the bag is supposed to look like. Um, I think that's, that's he'll kind of show it there. Something like that. And as you can see, mine looks nothing like it. And um, also something I noticed. I saw I saw that the real the real one had this thing on the bottom. but Or no, the fake one had this one on the bottom. But the real one had it on the back. And I don't know if that's kind of a giveaway. I'll have to see how my friends my friends look because I saw that this one actually did have the thing towards the bottom as well. Um, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to ask him to show it to me. But when I saw this and the color, it was kind of already a, a red flag for me. So I was like, "Frick! I might have gone scammed. I have no idea." And the way I figured it out is because my friend says it lasts him about four days before it dies. But this one only lasted two and a half hours, and it was in brand new packaging and everything. And uh, also something I noticed is, um, so let me show you guys real quick. Uh, my friends came in a rectangular box, and mine came in a squarish box. So I think that's kind of a giveaway that it's fake. 
I have no idea, but I'm probably going to return this and have to look closely to get a a different one. And uh, cause I I, not, I never seen that they made any white ones, so that's why why I'm assuming that it's a cheap Chinese knockoff. And yeah, I'm probably gonna return it and just get another one. And I have to look closely. And yeah, it's just been a really bad week. Uh, I, it's. I don't know, it's like I got cursed after I got back from Mexico. I don't know, I don't want to put no blame on nothing, but I've I've been having the worst luck this week. <laughs> it's just not, it's not funny. But that's what happened. I broke my Apple Watch. Uh, that was the main story of this video, but I just want to throw in the power bank one as well. Um, I wouldn't be pissed off about it if I didn't if, if it didn't cost me that much, because this thing costed me $50. Because Anchor products are expensive. Um, or at least portable banks of Anchor are expensive, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. I don't know. I'm just gonna stay away from these electronics for a while because I I feel like I've been getting cursed or, or something's been happening. I don't know, but I've been plagued with bad luck this whole week. It started with me getting sick and then whatnot. Uh, luckily, with my Apple Watch, as you can see. I managed to unpair it, but I got a little error message that said it might have not have been unpaired properly, which is kind of making me nervous thinking that it might not have backed up my data. Because usually I've unpaired my watch hundreds of times when I ran out of storage and I need to update. It always does a backup, but because this one is kind of broken, I have no idea if it did a backup or not, or I don't know. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm just going to shut up. Um, but that's that's the end of this video guys. That's just the story of how I broke my watch and side story of how I got scammed with that power bank on eBay and um, Yeah, guys, that's it for this video. So uh, I don't know when I'm gonna post my Mexico vlog I really don't feel like editing it right now probably by the end of next week or the beginning of the week after I don't know I'll have to see what happens um, But thankfully I start work this Tuesday, so that's good to know and yeah guys, that's it for this video so Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.